you guys can hear me all right because the wind's pretty bloody strong at the moment but Stu and I are out in an Arvo night watch so a farmer called me up today and they're having problems with a wild dog that's been biting their sheep so we've got the swag set up at the car here our cars are basically acting as a stand and we're going to stay here all night check every couple of hours during the night for the thermal gear and see if we can find this dog catch it out and then go shoot it so Wild dogs cause a heap of problems up here for the sheep farmers, so hopefully we can get this dog out of their way. It's coming in. How far is it? Shot. I got it. I didn't. I don't know, think I got it on the camera, but I got it on the thermal. Hell yes! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes! Yeah, a bit of so a. So you'll be on a thermian. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. So I recorded through the thermian. We'll go get the cars, yeah. eh? She's a bit heavy to carry around, but that's a uh, Armageddon. Bag from low vis gear, schmedium, they kick ass. And uh, got the bog hunt tripod as the uh, rear rest. I only had to work once. But the Arvo aren't producing. Well, guys, we got it done. So, a little bit rushed footage, but we're over at the cars and I was just glassing. We'd been there for a couple of hours glassing. I noticed the sheep milling around a little bit. Sure enough, saw this black dog chasing them around. We'd lost sight of it for a bit, couldn't find it in the thermal gear. So we raced up here closer and yeah, we seen the sheep milling around a little bit again and I noticed a single sheep running down. Thought that dog's gonna be chasing that sheep and yeah, got a shot, it was about 220 meters. Stu was just about to shoot it with his 223 with the thermium as well, but I'm pretty sure he got the shot on camera through the thermium. We missed the shot on the big camera, but when you shoot wild dogs, you don't give a crap about cameras. Like the farmer has had, you know, multiple sheep get bitten and that, and that ends up resulting in the sheep dying. Yeah, you're on the money. Bit of a young dog. Yeah, I thought it was acting like a young dog. Nice skin on Bloody that. Bloody it is. Damn. That is a cracking skin. Bloody solid too. Young dog can tell by the teeth. But chunky. Dog. Unreal. Yeah, yeah. No, it hasn't, hasn't. It's um, exit straight out, buddy. Yeah, the other side. <laughs> the skinny one. <laughs> well, you're right below the agates. Bloody hell. Would be the perfect one to skin if you had a skin one. <laughs> Say, young dog. It's been hassling these sheep for the last few days. I got a call off the farm after this afternoon while I was shark fishing and had no luck on the sharks, but. Yeah, come out with Stu and we had the thermal gear and everything ready for an all-nighter. Just basically keeping a watch on the sheep in this paddock. The farmer had told me the sheep were going to be in this paddock and that's what we're keeping an eye on. And sure enough, yeah, a couple of hours before dark, seeing this one 
glimpsed it running around and we were trying to get into a spot for a shot, couldn't get into a spot, so we had to come in closer. And yeah, noticed that single one sheep out, got a little bit of footage of it, but yeah, very, very good outcome. I think the farmer's gonna be pretty bloody happy. So, and first first kill for the new stock. So, felt very confident, had the the front of it on a, one of Stu's low vis bags on a fence post and the rear was set up in his tripod. So, it was a super stable shooting position. About 170. We'll just go pack up. Yep. Go get the fox and check the other paddock. Yep. Make sure there's no deer out. There he is on one of the hairs that I shot from last night. Well, short, sweet little morning hunt. Got up out of the swags, saw a couple of fallow deer out in the flats here, but they got it back to the bush before we could do anything. So we just decided to walk down the hill and just see if we could see anything else. And yeah, there was a fox out in the open there. So Stu shot that about, I think it was about 160, 170 meters with the 308 with the Desert Tech SRS. So pretty bloody awesome little morning. Another 10 bucks to add to the $120 tally we got yesterday, Arvo. So very good little mission and I think the farmer's gonna be pretty bloody happy, so happy days.